In this video, I want to talk about this new decoration card that they added to the season event for scoring 80,000 personal points. Now, earlier, they used to give you either the war crest or the ship for scoring 80,000 personal points in the season event. However, now it's been replaced with this decoration card, which can give you either this cup collection or it can give you one of these island decorations. Now, if you already have the war crest and the ship maxed out, it doesn't make sense to get this cup decoration because the stats of this cup will not stack on top of them. In order to get stats from these big collections, you need to equip them and you can only equip two big collections at once so getting the cup after you already have a maxed out war crest and ship will not give you any extra stats. So that being said, it makes more sense to get one of these island decorations if you already have the cup. Let's take a look at these island decorations to see what you're getting from them. So there's this carnival ground decoration which gives you 6% crew attack. Then there's the Carnival Rivulet decoration, which gives you 4% crew attack, and the Carnival Carousel decoration, which gives you 2% crew attack. You also have other decorations that give you wounded capacity, for example, this Carnival Ferris Wheel decoration and the Carnival Pirate Ship decoration, which give you 11,000 wounded capacity each, and the Carnival Cabin decoration, which gives you 8,000 wounded capacity each. So just looking at these stats, it would make sense to go with the carnival ground decoration. However, if you look at the area of this carnival ground decoration, you'll notice that it has a 7x7 seven seven area. This means that it takes up 49 squares in your island, which is a lot of space. On the other hand, if you look at the carnival rivulet decoration, this only takes up a 4x3 area, which means it takes up only 12 squares, and the Carnival Carousel decoration only takes up 4 squares. In fact, the Carnival Carousel decoration gives you 1% crew attack for just 2 squares. The Carnival Rivulet decoration gives you 1% crew attack for 3 squares on your island, and the Carnival Ground Decoration gives you 1% crew attack for more than 8 squares on your island. So it's more efficient to get the carousels. However, if you want a lot of attack quickly, then it would make sense to go with the Ground Decoration. So if you're playing for the long term, then I would suggest either getting the carousel or the rivulet decorations. Now, I don't really recommend getting Wounded Capacity on your main accounts. However, I think this is a good item to get on your farm accounts if you get 80,000 personal points on all of your farm accounts. Especially if your farm account has very low Wounded Capacity, then I would recommend getting either this Carnival Ferris Wheel decoration or the Carnival Pirate Ship decoration. Now, the Carnival Cabin decoration is slightly more efficient than the Wheel and the Pirate Ship decoration. However, the, the Ferris Wheel and Pirate Ship give you about 1,833 wounded capacity for every square, while the cabin gives you 2,000 wounded capacity per square. So it's only slightly efficient and not insanely efficient. So it's up to you whether you want to get the Ferris wheel or the ship or the carnival cabin decoration. I don't think it make much of a difference. Also, if you don't care about stats and you're trying to maximize asset points for your island, then it would make sense to go with the largest decorations. This is because each decoration shown here gives you the exact same points per square for your island. That is, you get 25 points per square for each of these decorations. So the Carnival Ground Decoration, since it takes up 49 squares, it gives you 25 times 49 points, which is 1,225 points in total. The Rivulet Decoration takes up 12 squares, so it gives you 12 times 25 points, which is 300 points in total. So if you're aiming to increase your asset points and if you don't have a lot of island decorations already, then it would make sense to go with the largest one that is the carnival ground decoration.
So that is my opinion on these island decorations that they added to the season event and also on the cup. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Do you have the maxed out ship and war crest? Or are you going to get the cup this time? Or will you get one of the island decorations? Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.